Ah, these glasses really add a rosy glow to the whole fair. Garoovy. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks like Onion D Light. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of Onion D Light. I just need to eat some Onion D Light and breathe into that breath analyzer and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog butt. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food Onion D Light. Do you have any onion delight here? Nothing like that here. Only food on stick. You should try the Chateau La Roche restaurant. Try a restaurant, hmm? Go right in, Nancy. Someone's in the kitchen with Tyna. <laughs> stir, stir, stir. Can you prepare onion delight? Why, I won the French cooking medal of honor for my onion delight. Well, of course, I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one onion right now. Can't you make it with the one onion you do have? Absolutely not. The good onion delight must be made with exactly two onions. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some onion delight. Thanks, Chef. Two onions, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Come to the kitchen with Tyna. You clone it? You got it. Got one, one, two, clone it. I have this onion. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to clone it, doll. Very well, Leaf. You do the honors. No. After you, I insist. No, please. After you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do Julianne Frost? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Go right in, Nancy. Stir, stir, stir. 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 Stir, stir, stir.
sister. Here you are, two big juicy onions. Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! Oh, thank you! My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. What do you know about that? Onion Delight did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground thread screw that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable, evil dog bot. When the one million tourists come through the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly! <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. I thought I heard someone say, walk into the light. I have to find a way to shield my eyes. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... A picture of La Roche. Hmm.
I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. Pushing this button feeds the fly traps. Those fly traps open up so wide I can see their tonsils. Player belt go faster. I have the guts. I believe these are yours, Kate Cod. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my eyes! Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean, looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. I borrow your dark goggles, Cape Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. Go right in, Nancy. Oh, gracious me. Oh, my oh, dear, oh, dear, oh. Excuse me, what's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he is so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rise. Ah. That's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit-roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't... Oh, yes it is! I think I'm going to be sick. Now where are all those forks? Here's where I keep my... 
Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I'd better get this spit roasted boot bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a hero. It's only a matter of time now before I have La Roche's prince. <laughs> Spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. There it is. Now I'm almost ready to give La Roche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. Tough, but still good. Someone's in the kitchen with pie, no? Clip, clip, clip. Go right in, Nancy. Didn't anyone ever tell you that evil doesn't pay? Actually, it doesn't pay well, but it does have a great health plan, and you get stock options. It's back to jail for you, Spy Fox, and stop escaping. I have evil to do. Well, here I am again, quite literally in the jaws of disaster. My escape route is still open. UV ratings 750. These should show me the light in a good way. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. That looks just like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus flytrap. That mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies instead of off switches for giant evil dog bots. I have the off switch. La Roche's evil scheme is crumbling. Soon my diabolical plan will reach its fiendish fruition. I will be unstoppable. For who or what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated machine of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. Le Roach! Le Roach! Le Roach! 
and I will say, yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. This is quite an evil plan, no? <laughs> Give this a try, shall we? Like the old song says, a spoonful of LaRoche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. That must be where I need to set the off switch activation code. That should put LaRoche off a bit. Now all I have to do is set the off switch activation code. Since the off switch is already installed, all I have to do is set the activation code correctly. Then LaRoche's plans will be spoiled like milk left out of the refrigerator overnight. I'd bet my Aunt Beatrice sponge cake that that is the on switch for the evil dogbot. I'm positive that that's the on switch for the evil dogbot. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Cherry Pineapple Orange. At last, the off switch is in its place and the activation code is set correctly. Millionth customer has come to the turnstile. The dog bot is now fully operational. Let's hit it! I don't think this is a good sign. I hope La Roach has earthquake insurance. Dog bot, sit. What? Spy fox! You called? LaRoche, your evil days are over. I don't think so. The sun has not yet hit. Should go in after it. That LaRoche won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. That spy box thinks he's so smart. I am 
have one more trick to play before I make my escape through these sewer pipes. This computer program will set up a million toasters hidden in the dog box. Together, the toasters will simultaneously burn a million pieces of toast, leaving a dark grey cloud hanging over the fair for the next ten months. Much like Seattle. Oh no! There is a bug in the program! Ah! I must check my variables and track down all the straight pixels! That dastardly LaRoche won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. I bet that wrench could come in handy. I have to break through that glass to get it. Ouch! I have to find something other than my shoulder to break that glass with. I think that made the pipe move. That's a sewer pipe if I ever saw one. I wonder where that pipe... This ball-peen hammer looks interesting. It might come in handy. that made the sewer pipe I've got it! That's not going to do me any good. A roach will see me if I try to go there from here.
There, that moved the sewer grate out of the way. It's down the drain for you, LaRoche! What? You again! Commendable job in catching Napoleon LaRoche spy box, you get my eternal gratitude. I had excellent help on this case, Chief. Ah, yes. I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. For the deductive reasoning and daring deeds displayed in disabling the dangerous and destructive evil dogbot, for saving the world's fair from the total devastation, and for defeating the deceptively dastardly and decidedly deceitful villain Napoleon LaRoche, you are hereby awarded this certificate of accomplishment along with Spy Corps' highest honors and unyielding gratitude. Signed by the Spy Corps' chief and stamped with the Spy Corps' wax seal of excellence.